Here's a Beyond the Pitch podcast quick hit from the WVSA Digital Network. Yeah, so the challenge here when we talk about chat-based really is, and when I say chat-based, most often people's minds go to text, right? So not just text, but if you think more uh, a broader concept of, okay, chat-based communication in in the form of we're speaking back and forth in smaller exchanges. So very rarely are you going to encounter today's student athlete where from the beginning, they're talking at length, unless they really need to talk. If they haven't had that outlet, and I know the pandemic landscape has has given some folks less opportunity for the social interaction that would normally help sort of vacate um, the things that they've held back or or have pent up over time. So when we talk about chat-based communication, it's really this, this back and forth exchange of information versus thinking about kind of a lecture, like if I was sitting in a classroom and the professor's at the head of the class and they're lecturing the whole time, that's not what the data says is best for how Gen Z receives information and really how they learn. So our challenge as coaches is how do we take that information and then knowing that they're chat-based, that they're used to kind of shorter exchanges, how do we weave that into our coaching so we can be effective in communicating with our student athletes? 